One of my favorite stories about experimentation is one called The Lady Tasting Tea. Now this is set in Cambridge, England, at Cambridge University in the 1920s. And it was a bunch of uh, university dons, their wives and guests, uh, sitting around a table on a sunny uh, afternoon at Cambridge University. So they're all sitting around having uh, high tea. And uh, the waiter comes around and he's pouring tea and one of the women at the table says, oh, could, could you stop there? Um, I want to add the milk to my tea instead of having the tea added to my milk. And everyone kind of looked around the table and thought, but that's an odd, that's an odd request. Uh, and someone asked, can you, can you tell the difference between milk added to your tea and tea added to your milk? And she said, of course, of course I can tell the difference. And everyone kind of looking at her skeptically. And one of the men at the table, uh, Ronald Fisher, Sir Ronald Fisher, later on, uh, he's a short, skinny little man with glasses and a pointy beard, stood up and he says, well, let's test this proposition. And he decided to design an experiment, design a test of this woman's claim. Now, what we want people to do is to go into the next section and figure out what they would do in this sort of circle. If they were to put themselves in Ronald Fisher's position and they were at uh, tea on a, on a sunny afternoon and someone made this claim, what would it take to convince them that someone had this capability to tell the difference between tea with milk added to it or milk with tea added to it? And what would they do to test this claim? How much evidence would it take to convince them that they could in fact do uh, do this sort of claim.